All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Pokemon. So the Pokemon Presents Pokemon 25th Anniversary Announcement video, it just premiered and it just wrapped up. I'm sure a lot of people right now are very excited. Some people might be disappointed. Basically, what you got here um, was a lot of Nintendo Switch game news. You got some news about the new Pokemon Snap. You got some new gameplay there. You got a nice little montage in the beginning of the video showing all the different games over the past 25 years. Um, and that's what you're watching right now, showing some of the trading cards over the years. But the main thing from this video that we got was the announcement of two brand new games for the Nintendo Switch. And these two games were basically what everybody predicted, except for the second one. The first one is what was predicted, the Sinnoh remake. But for me, the first one didn't look that good. The second one looked absolutely amazing. It looked like it's probably going to be one of the best Pokemon games we've ever had. But the, the remake coming out in 2021, I don't know if it really does it for me. So let's go to uh, where they announced that. So this was the Sinnoh remake that everyone wanted for this year. But to me... The gameplay looked like a massive step backwards. I wasn't a super fan, so it's going to be called Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So let's go ahead and watch this video here. So that's gameplay from the new game. It looks to me like the like the like the experience of a Nintendo 3DS game. It looks like a step backwards from what we got with Sword and Shield, and I don't really think that's what most people were wanting. It looks like a 3D version of the DS games is basically where they stopped. To me, I would have rather I would have almost rather had the Let's Go version, but let's go ahead and go here. So those two games will be releasing worldwide late in 2020, likely in December, sometime around the holidays, November, December, somewhere in that range. That's typically when Pokemon games sell very well, right before the holidays. But here, another story awaits. This to me looks like the best thing ever. This is what I'm excited for, not so much the brilliant diamond. This is a tale from a long, long time ago, when the Sinnoh region was still only a vast wilderness. A certain village bustled with the comings and goings of people. While in the mountains and seas, Pokemon roamed as they pleased. Look at this open world right here. This is what people want to see. This is like some Zelda Breath of the Wild stuff right here. This is going to be, this whole Arceus thing is going to be one of the coolest games ever for the Switch. This is what I'm excited for. I might, honestly, I might not even buy the Diamond and Pearl games for 2021. I'm waiting for this. They both take place in the Sinnoh region, but this looks like miles ahead. So it's almost like they were like, we want to give you something this year. We know it's not great, but we will give you these Sinnoh remakes. But as a cons that's like your consolation prize. But coming next year, you we've got the best Pokemon game ever. So 
don't get too uh, downtrodden about the fact that these these Sinnoh remakes don't look like the best because you're going to get one that's amazing. And there's something cool. There's a cool little twist in this as well. So look at that right there. The, the mechanics of throwing a Pokeball. Entirely different. You can throw them in the wild. It looks like outside of a battle. So that's a whole new element to this uh, Pokemon game here. And this is supposed to take place sometime in the distant past. So here's the twist. You've got Pokemon from different regions as your three starters. So you've got Cyndaquil, you've got, uh, what's the little guy's name, Rallet, and you've got Oshawott. So three of probably the cutest starter Pokemon, your fire, your grass, and your water. But they're all from different regions. They're all from different games. But they're combined to be your three options for this new game, which I think is awesome. Because Cyndaquil next to Charmander is one of my all-time favorite starter Pokemon. I also started in the Sword and Shield games for the, th or not Sword and Shield, but Sun and Moon. I started with the little Rallet guy, and Oshawott, he's pretty cute as well. That's the Samurott evolution line, isn't it? So Pokemon Legends Arceus, that will be the name of the game. It's going to be fun for me because honestly, like I said, I grew up playing the Game Boy game, so I never really got into the early DS games. I never played Diamond and Pearl when it first came out. So I will kind of get to experience the Sinnoh region as an adult playing for the first time in a game like this new game, this Legends, of, Legends Arceus game. This is going to be awesome for me because like Arceus, for example, legendary Pokemon that I never... You know, growing up, I never played a game with that Pokemon in it. So this will be a cool kind of introduction for me to that era or that region of Pokemon. So that'll be interesting. Uh, but the other, the games this year, it'll be cool to have a new game on the Switch. But to me, honestly, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But those first two games, to me, just looked like a major step backwards in gameplay from Sword and Shield. So it is what it is. Let's see if there's anything else here. games. All right, yeah, so I think they're going to show some more gameplay from the new Diamond and Pearl. Remakes of the Pokemon Diamond version and Pokemon So that right there is So it looks like something from a 3DS. Pokemon Pearl version games which were released for the Nintendo DS system are coming to Nintendo Switch. These games will be developed by Ilka Inc, who also worked on Pokemon Home. The project is being directed by Yuichi Ueda of Ilka, as well as Game Freak's Junichi Masuda, who was the director for the original Pokemon Diamond version and Pokemon Pearl version games. Your adventure will take place in the Sinnoh region. Rich in nature and with towering Mount Coronet at its heart, it is a land of many myths passed down through the ages. The sense of scale of the original game's towns and roots has been carefully preserved, and you'll be able to travel through from... So a key thing that they focus on here is they say the sense of scale, such as the size of the buildings and the size of everything else, has been preserved in this game. So one of the things they focused on, it seemed to me, for this remake was nostalgia. They're trying to play on the buyer's nostalgia of playing the original games, and that's kind of the intent, was to update it, make a more modern version of it, but not really to the extent that they did with Sword and Shield, which is kind of weird to me. Again, this is... These two games, not really that exciting for me. I don't know how you guys feel, but I'm sure a lot of you guys that were expecting the Sinnoh remakes, the Diamond and Pearl remakes, were expecting something a lot better than this. I don't know, man. To me, 
I might not even buy them. Familiar location. No, I'm lying. I'll, I'll buy them. I'll buy them for sure. Once again, you'll set out on your journey after choosing either Turtwig, Chimchar, or Piplup as your first partner Pokemon. In these games, you can enjoy a grand adventure together with all the Pokemon from Pokemon Diamond version and Pokemon Pearl version. Newcomers and previous visitors to the Sinnoh region alike can look forward to experiencing the original Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl stories, freshly recreated for Nintendo Switch. So again, I am excited for that because I never had the opportunity to play these games on, well, I had the opportunity, I just didn't take it, um, to play these games on the DS. So I'll get the opportunity to live through these stories on this new system, so that'll be fun. But again, it's just, I was expecting a little bit more here. What did you think? Okay. Yes, yeah, so what did you think? Let me know in the comment section down below, but... That's basically it. I thought we would get a little bit more news in this because they called it Pokemon Presents. So typically the Pokemon Direct videos are the videos just talking about games. So I thought we might get a little bit of uh, 25th anniversary merchandise news here or any other 25th anniversary news. There was no trading card news. There was no merch news. This was basically exclusively information about upcoming games. So I thought that was a little bit interesting. I thought the whole Pokemon Presents thing would include a little bit of other info in there, but it did not. So maybe we'll get some more through some kind of other medium, but no trading card news, no merch news. Legends of Arceus looks like probably the coolest game ever, kind of a Zelda Breath of the Wild open world vibe there. Um, it looks absolutely amazing. The diamond, the brilliant diamond and shining pearl. Maybe not the best things ever, but at least we're going to have a new game to play in 2021. Again, it's probably going to come out around the holidays, around Christmas time. Uh, but this this Arceus game, they're showing more footage right now. This is something I'm extremely excited about. This is going to be cool. Let's listen. As for these three Pokemon, Rowlet, Cyndaquil, and Oshawott, it seems they were brought to Sinnoh by a certain professor who encountered them while traveling around various regions. You'll set off on your adventure after receiving a first partner Pokemon of your own from this professor. With the village as your base, you'll venture out to the different corners of the region. Come on, man. I mean, just look at this shot. Look at this frame right here. This is gonna, this is gonna be so fun. Dude, I can't wait for this. This is going to be awesome. So it, they kind of tease us with these Diamond and Pearl remakes. They say, you get these little these little games to kind of whet your appetite. But the real thing is coming next year in 2022. This is what you guys are really waiting for. So again, I don't even know, I don't even know the whole story arc around Arceus. So it'll be interesting for me to see that in this game. Um, but we got to wait, unfortunately, until 2022 to see that. But I guess it'll keep the Pokemon hype alive even after 2021 and after the 25th anniversary is over. So that'll be cool. So let me know what you guys thought about this Pokemon Presents in the comment section down below. If you liked it, if you hated it, if you think these games both look awesome or both look terrible, let me know in the comment section below. Please subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed already. we got to get it to 10,000 subs um, here in the next couple months. That should be the short-term goal. So I love you guys. appreciate you guys. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. As always, Nick Strength and Pokemon. Signing out.